Oh, are we on? Hi, I'm Brian Foley, Matt Foley's younger brother. And I'm here to tell you why I'm going to the High 57. It's District, District 57 Spring Conference. First off, let me tell you a little scenario about myself. I'm 53 years old. I live in a van down by the river. I've been thrice kicked out of Toastmasters clubs. I mean, just because I showed up to my icebreaker in a topless tap dancing outfit. Come to think of it, the president did say he couldn't get that image out of his mind. Oh well. Well since it's 2017, I thought I'd give you 17 different reasons about why I'm going to the convocation. First of all, it gets lonely in that van down by the river, so I thought I'd make a few friends. Besides, I hear there's a shower there. And secondly, I heard they talk about your first grade teacher. My first grade teacher was the best. I remember Mr. Rabinowitz used to give me a graham cracker and some warm milk all the time. I mean, just the other day, when she was helping me practice this speech, she gave me a cup of <laughs> Ovaltine and some Oreos. And then there's number three. And, um, you know, uh, well, um, you know, I am a motivational speaker, and maybe I can school you on how to orate. And then number four, there's free food. Gotta work on my table muscle. I can stock up till the fall conference. And then number five, with all those speeches, I can learn three tips to success in less than five to seven minutes. And then two words, stage presence. I mean, you thought Christmas was great. They're talking about big old presents up there on the stage for the first one to get up on up there. I mean, get out of my way because come on down, Brian Foley. And then number seven, traffic signal practice. I hear they have the green light, the yellow light, and the red light. And then number eight, two more words, icebreakers. I mean, there's some people there that are so good at sculpting ice, they can break ice with the best of them. I mean, this one guy, he's so good at it, they nicknamed him Ice Cube. Number nine, number nine, number nine. Did I tell you there's gonna be food? I mean, there are some people there that are the world's best at making toast. They're even called International Toastmasters. I'm kind of partial to the French toast myself. And with all those toasters, there's gotta be some Pop-Tarts. I like the strawberry. Double digits. E-validations. I mean, every time I give a speech, I get an E-validation. Just makes me feel good. Oh, evaluation? Okay. Number 11. Same backwards and forwards. Irrational speed contest. I mean, Interna international speed contest. I mean, I'm looking forward to racing my van against those hot rods out there to see how it does. International speech contest. Never mind. Number 12 for an even dozen. They're going to teach you how to save money on your golf game. I mean, I heard tell they're going to talk about how to grow your own clubs. And from the look of these, I could improve my clubs. And then 13, they're going to talk about club vision so you can hit the ball better. 14 is going to be delegation. Now, I don't know what delegation means, but it sounds like delicatessen. Did I tell you they're going to have some food there? Lots of food. Number 15, there's going to be lots of CLs there, which stands for Confident L Eaters. I mean, they're going to teach you how to win eating contests. What? Con confident leaders. Oh. And now number 16, one of my favorites. There's this guy named George Marshall who knows I like to eat Milky Ways. He told me there's a new bar called Pathways Bars with 10 different flavors and five levels of nougaty goodness. Can't wait for that one. Pathways. 
And finally, we are 16, going on number 17. It's going to be at the California Maritime Academy. And I sure am looking at having a merry good old time there. So, this Saturday, May the 6th, join me, Brian Foley, motivational speaker, at the California Maritime Academy in Valley Ho, California. See you there. Is that a wrap, Mr. Vinowitz? Okay. You want me to take down that poster, the Beatles poster? Okay, thanks again for letting me do this in your garage. Oh, we're still on? Oh, see ya. Join me there. Can you edit that part out? <laughs>